We're in Australia. Hey, we're down by the sea. And look, there's an aquarium. What a fantastic place to get some arty ideas. <laughs> wow, look at all these fish. They're so colourful and all different shapes and sizes. Oh, look at that shark. There's something fishy going on here. I've just had an idea. Let's try something. Use salt to make this amazing salty sea picture. Let's make it. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now, we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. Hello, mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. My name is Madeline. Hello, Madeline. I can help you. Oh, fantastic. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, great. Madeline is on her way to help us make the picture. But first, we need somewhere to make it. <laughs> Oh, wonderful! The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we're ready to make our picture by using these arty things. Some sheets of white paper. Some water. A washing up sponge and a bowl. Some food colouring. Some brushes and some pens. Some salt. Some scissors and a glue stick. And last but not least, we also need a tennis racket. A, a tennis racket? We don't need a tennis racket. Scraps? How did you get here? We don't need one of these, but we do need some stickers, please. Now take the racket back. Go on. That's it. Now be careful. Be careful. That's it. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Scraps. Thank you. We've got some stickers. Now we've got everything we need, but it feels like something's missing. Hmm. Do you know what it is? I'm here, Mr. Maker. Madeline, of course! It's you! Thank you very much for coming. Now you're just in time because we're going to make our picture like this one here. It's a salty sea picture. Now this can get a little bit messy, so it's a good idea to put down some newspaper or some old paper first. And Madeline, I think we should put on some aprons. Does that sound like a good idea? Yes. Okay, then lead the way. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, look at us. Now, Madeline, are you ready? Yes. Brilliant. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we're going to do is turn our plain white paper into some patterned paper. Let's use a sponge and some water for this. That's it, Madeline. Now, make the paper nice and wet. And whilst it's still wet, we're going to need some of this stuff. It's food colouring. Now, you can buy food colouring from a food shop, but you might have some at home already, so ask a grown-up to help you. First, we're going to use blue food colouring and spread it onto the paper. Now, whilst everything is still wet, it's time for our special ingredient, salt. Here it is. And when we sprinkle the salt over the wet food colouring, it leaves an amazing pattern behind. Now you can sprinkle this ordinary salt, or you could even use this. <laughs> rock salt. <laughs> Let's try this, Madeline. Sprinkle rock salt wherever you like. It comes in much bigger pieces, and it leaves bigger marks on the paper. When you've finished sprinkling, Leave it to dry. We've made lots of different colours of paper like this and brushed off all the dried salt. We're ready to start drawing now, Madeline. And what shall we draw? Um, seaweed and some fish. 
seaweed and some fish. That's a great idea. I'll tell you what, why don't you take this pink paper and let's get drawing. When you finish drawing, carefully cut everything out. Remember to keep one piece for your background. Now we can arrange all of the pieces in our picture. <laughs> and when you're happy with your picture, glue everything down. We've finished! We've even added some stickers for eyes and mouths. A brilliant salty sea picture. And if you enjoyed that, how about trying these ideas too? A salty octopus with orange fish. Or you could even try a wonderful whale in a salty sunset. Why don't you try one of those pictures today? Well, thank you so much for your help, Madeline. We made it! High five! What a fantastic picture! <laughs> what a brilliant salty effect! Well done, Madeline. Shiver me chatters for up to adventures! Yar! Yoo-hoo! To the left! Now to the right! Oh, we almost slipped! Whoa! What happened? <sighs> oh, silly. You scared me. Oh, come on, Raj. I'm fine. Well, what was it then? Tell me. <sighs> I wanted to go to the underwater world. You know, like Jack Sparrow. But Sammy, he actually sailed a pirate ship, not a slipper. <laughs> <laughs> my fault I don't have a ship, Roger! You forgot to say, Arr! Act like a pirate, matey! Then I won't abandon me slipper ship, Arr! Like a true captain! <laughs> Sam, you're also a true crafter! If we don't have something, just make it! <gasps> That's right! I can make my own Black Pearl ship! <laughs> 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 Aye, aye, Captain Sam. I'm ready to follow you to the end of the craft world. Sammy, look. I've got all the pieces ready. It's time to get started. Yay! I'll put everything together. Give me just five minutes. Um... <laughs> uh... Thanks for the shipping. Arr! Let's start assembling the ship's stern. And the first step is done. That doesn't look much like a ship. Hey, where are you taking it? To the assembly shop. <laughs> Wait and you'll see some magic. Here! Sammy, the hole is ready to sail. Hurry, we should follow the schedule. Oh, I can't wait! <laughs> Let's pretend it's sailing. Only in the sky! Woohoo! And all I have what every ship needs for stability! Kill! <laughs> Alright, let's attach it! Here we go! Great! Now we need to take care of rigging. Hmm, what should we use, Sammy? Blanket! Here it is! I'm gonna tuck it in! <laughs> I think it's not gonna help. Let's try another option. We'll rig the pearl sides with paper stripes. Oh. Raj, are you sure you can handle this alone? Of course I can. Look how easily I'll transform our ship. All right, Roger, let's go. I, I mean, let's float. Whoa. Rock on wave, Sammy. <laughs> I'm going to finish up the deck till Sam's arrival, uh huh? Hey, did you plan to craft without me? No way. <laughs> Is this your place? I'm <laughs> Now we need cargo hatches. It'll fit so many yummies inside. Great, I've already made a few. Now, um, lowering it. Uh, Raj, give me a hand. That's some speed, Sammy. And I'll glue the pieces in place. I'm gonna polish the deck. It'll be clean and shiny. Ooh, <laughs> Knock, knock, knock! Yo-ho-ho, -ho, my sailors! <laughs> well, if you're the janitor here, then I'll take the captain's place. Nah, -uh, no way! I'm ready to be a half-ship captain! Then we should work together. Let's start building a cabin. We should make windows! Well, of course. I thought about that, too. Oh, 
dear listeners, today in our lecture of Java, How to build a ship with a meticulous slime. <laughs> Who built a captain's cabin? Let's just embed the windows. Raj, I've got an idea. Shall we discuss it? Friends, stay tuned. So, Roger and I came to a conclusion. <laughs> From now on, he's gonna listen to me! <laughs> what on earth? Am I drowning? <laughs> Sammy, relax! I saw your stilts to make cannons! Now we need to drill holes in them. Hi, give me that! Hey, that thief again! Just a few touches. And now we can attach it to the ship. Arr, our enemies will fly away! Wait, Sammy, we've only got one, and it's not finished yet. That's better. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm. 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 Now this is a whole artillery. Great! Raj, the passengers need stairs. Are the books okay? They're a bit heavy. I'm going to cut up a few stairs. Now I'm going to assemble a ladder out of them. You're going to love it. You've missed a handrail. Anyone can fall, you know. Whoa! Sammy, are you okay? The railing's coming. Uh, it's all right. But I'd rather fall into a warm seat than on the table. <laughs> you sure, Sammy? Have you forgotten about the sharks? There are dangers lurking in the water. Um, miss, would you please evaluate our ship? Miss, Miss, Raj, where's your railing? It's right here, Sammy. Your guest came a bit too early. You know, we need more stairs to get from deck to deck. Like these? Oh, they're great. Just what we need. I'm always here to help. Everything looks awesome. Now, Sam, make a guess. And the right piece is uh, here. Bingo. <laughs> this is a steering wheel for our ship. Let's put it in place and steer it to distant tides. Oh! Roger, look, I got a present! Wow, is that for me? Thanks! Shall I open it? Hmm. Oh, the deck lights! That's great! Also, let's place the cannons on the decks right away. Mm, done. Uh, not quite what I was going for. <laughs> oh, my better, Roger. You're a a wizard. <laughs> One more time. Mm. Oh, it worked a second time. Prepare to board. And I, I can cause a cannon storm. Wow, I am strong. It's enough for a whole pirate fleet. Mm, they're too pale, though. Let's bang them, Roger. If you say so, I think the carriages should be black. Hmm. And for the cannons, let's use a copper color. <laughs> that was easy. Could you bang the whole shit, though? Uh -huh. Now this is a real art! Hi again! I've been finalizing the sailings. Sam promised to help me. Hey, hey, hey! And I am helping! Just watch and repeat! Alright, alright. When the patterns are cut out, we need to sew them together. Crumple our fabric a bit. <laughs> hey, Sammy, careful. Although, actually, it looks good. <laughs> I've got a few more here. <laughs> Sammy, you're on fire today. We need to attach them, but let's paint them first. Arr, Raj, attach the sail in here 
and then there! Aye, aye, Captain. What are you up to? Actually, I've got a lot of pirate stuff to do. You'll see. Like, I scheduled an epic battle with a sea! Haha, <laughs> not you. I need a bigger opponent. <laughs> oh, but not you. I'm gonna take down the spookiest beast in the... Tommy, I'm done. Take a look at this masterpiece. Uh, and I did. Uh, I am. Uh, anyway. Oh, thanks a lot. I mean, this little thing. Look. Wow, thanks. It's a rope attachment. Oh, Poseidon. Come help me. Bring this piece back to life. Wow, it worked. The ship's almost ready. But I think there's something missing. Hmm. Aha! Oh, the Gorgon Medusa. She's perfect. Oh, Sammy! Oh, sorry. Too bright! Your place is on the bow of the ship. Well, let's showcase our Black Pearl. Weighty anchor! <laughs> By the mozzarella, yo ho! <laughs> All right, Captain, you and I are off to uncharted waters. Well, I think I'm getting a little seasick. <laughs> Congratulations, you've discovered a table island. What a good luck for us! This ship is my best creation, my precious. Bye, fellows. Subscribe to our channel, and in the pirate tradition, I'm stealing this. Give us a thumbs up. There are lots of boats sailing on wavy water. That's just given me a great idea. Let's try something. Try making a fantastic silver line picture of a boat sailing on wavy water. Let's make it. Now we'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. Oh, <laughs> hello mini makers. Who's going to help me today? Hello, Mr. Maker. I'm Matthew. Oh, hello, Matthew. I can help you. Oh, that's great news. Everyone else, thank you. We'll see you soon. Matthew, let's get making. Oh, great. Matthew is on his way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wonderful! The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need some cardboard box cards, some paint, some gloopy PVA glue and some kitchen foil. Some sticky tape and some paint brushes. And of course, we need one more thing. That's right, some maracas. <laughs> Wait a minute. We don't need maracas. Scraps, it's you. How did you get here? <laughs> oh, I see. Look, Scraps, open up, please. Open up. See if you can find a pen. Go on, up you go. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Scraps. Just what we need. <laughs> We've got a pen. Great. We've got everything we need. Although, it does feel like something's missing. Do you know what it is? Um, uh, oh, Hi, no. Mr. McCarr. 
Of course, Matthew, it's you, my friend. Thank you very much for coming. You're just in time to help us make a picture. Look at that. It's a silver line picture of a brilliant boat in a wavy sea. Now, Matthew, are you ready? Yes. Good. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, the first thing we need is a sheet of cardboard box card like this. And we're going to draw something on it. You can draw whatever you like, but today we're going to draw a boat bobbing on the water with a chimney, a flag, and floats along the side. Let's get drawing. <laughs> when you've drawn your picture, you'll need some gloopy glue. So Matthew, can you find some gloopy glue, please? Thank you. Watch this, Matthew. Just squeeze gloopy glue all over the lines you've drawn. When you've covered all the lines in your picture and left the glue to dry hard and bumpy, it'll look like this. Now we need to cover this in a large sheet of kitchen foil. And I think you've got some there, Matthew. Can you pass it over? Oh, it's a bit windy. Now fold the foil over the edges of the cardboard. And fix it in place with sticky tape and then turn it over. And when you've done that, you'll need this, your finger. Fingers at the ready. <laughs> we need to take our fingers and we're going to very carefully rub the foil to make the bumps and the glue lines stand out. And your picture should reappear where you have rubbed. Now we're ready to colour in our picture inside the bumpy lines with a very special painty mixture. Now, Matthew, can you grab that big bottle of gloopy glue, please? Add a big squirt to each colour of paint and start mixing. Bye. Thank you very much, Matthew. Good mixing. Now, the reason we've used gloopy glue in our mixture is so that the paint sticks to the foil. Let's start with some orange paint and we can paint the main part of our boat. Paint as carefully as you can, making sure that you don't get any paint on the bumpy silver lines. Matthew, look, we've finished our picture. And by not painting on the silver bumpy lines, the boat really stands out. And we've even left some parts of the picture silver to add to the effect. And if you enjoy that, why not try these other ideas too? You could try a silver-lined car with go-faster stripes and a shiny silver window. Or how about a silver-lined rocket flying past silver stars? Or you could even try a silver-lined robot with a silver robot dog. Why don't you try one of those ideas today? Thank you so much for helping me, Matthew. We made it! High five!